Yeah. Hello. Oh, hi, David. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm blown away. Um, and and uh, what was just done with Sheldon with the nose? Um, like I also yeah. fractured my uh, uh sinus a tripod fracture yeah. in high school, and uh, so there was an impaction that was then uh, corrected with uh, surgically corrected. Um, but so I've got a lot of that that cranial just sort of hold fast locked down that is creating this sort of spiritual um, dissonance that I just can't fucking dig my. I'm just I assessed you while you were talking. Thanks. Really? So you got your six chakras off, but that's not our priority. His entire right side of his head is crushed in. Mm -hmm. and you can see it on the screen. That's why his head is sitting on his neck that way. So it basically goes back to that trauma that you you just talked about there, David. About uh, and, and I couldn't quite catch the term that you tripod used. fracture. Tripod fracture. Yeah, that's what mainly all this is coming from, and that's what's stopping you from connecting to yourself. Yeah. Baseball line drive. Uh. Nasty. <laughs> so in this situation. Um, I'll just talk about convergence really quick. Um, never take something and take it towards somebody's face. If you did that to David, you would set him off into oblivion. And so people are like, oh, your eye. You need to do something with your eye. And you do that to him, and they're gone. Like me even just pointing at the screen, David did like it. A quick aside, I also have asymmetry in my eyes, but it's anisochoria, so my irises have... I'm not sure. I have a definite preverbal auditory trauma that has mm -hmm. created uh, fibrillation somewhere, but um, I'm not sure if this is innate or due to trauma. But there is an asymmetry there in the optic. Yeah, we just spent we just spent yesterday's uh, session doing mostly work on the on the left side of the head. Mm -hmm. but but he just he just said something very uh, crucial right there. He's been having auditory issues. Yeah, his right ear isn't functioning at all. I mean, he's, that's not saying he's not hearing out of it, but it's just not functioning like the left. So he's going to keep going like this to hear, and that's yeah. what's going to cause this in his neck. Okay? So the body tells you a story. You just got to be able to pay attention to it and listen to it. Now, one of the reasons I, 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 I can relate with you, David, is because I had hearing issues as a child. I wasn't hearing out of in, uh, my right ear e either, and then I had the tubes and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So as a child, I didn't even realize I became fairly decent at lip reading. Well, I didn't know how or why, but it's because I couldn't hear how this ear. But that's why you develop this ability. It's like a, a nuance of the like micromuscular vocal apparatus, yeah. and then you just extrapolate into the entire rest of the tapestry. That's an aside. Yes, and uh, mon mantra work has been extremely helpful in terms of like just mitigating some symptoms at least. Uh, Can we? Do, is it okay if we do a quick correction on you? Okay, because this one's kind of fascinating. Kevin, you're going to pull on his earlobe toward you on yeah. an inhale, and then you're going to move that sphenoid forward on exhale. Pull on inhale, forward on exhale. Yeah, you're going to pull it toward you, though. Yeah. We've got to pull it away from his skull. And this might hurt just a little bit, David. Roger, roger. Okay. Take a breath. And exhale. Keep, keep pulling on that ear, Kevin. Don't let it go. You might have to actually get inside that canal a little bit. I don't know if you can. So what we're trying to do is take that temporal bone and get it so it will. So the temporal bone, as you inhale, it drops forward and out. Okay. Take a breath. But with his situation, his is too far in. So we got to pull it out. This part, we're pulling it out. Oh my yeah. Uh, David, could you help us? Could you hold your head so it stays like yeah, perfect? And I'll see if that helps you, Kevin. Try not to let it turn, David. 
Take a breath. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's much better. And exhale. There. Whew. That opened up his heart. And I want to, I want to fight it. My trauma is saying no. Right. <laughs> That's fascinating. Right. Absolutely. You know how it engaged just then? Yes. Immediate, and it's and it's deep in there. It's like fucking. And I felt it. It's holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the? How is this not magic, Joe? Come on. <laughs> well, Steve, he, he's all under the thermodynamics of it. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate Steve's vocabulary. I trained as a chemist, and so the thermodynamic listening, I texted myself that. I, I'm going to come back to that later. Oh, well, uh, please uh, reach out and uh, let us know what what you come up with in your definitions. Oh, my God. And oh, and, and I, like in terms of the, the communication that we're going, I, I'm interested in, uh, there's a concept in quantum mechanics called phonons. We have photons, a quantum of light, but phonon is the quantum of vibration. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when I'm performing a session, I have bad grounding. Um, I, I'd love to talk about that at some later date. Um, well, you can't ground because you're in here. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I do is uh, I'll achieve a release with a client and that release creates a vibration in them. And my shadows, uh, locked in traumatized self just naturally picks that up because it just conducts. And that's how I train myself because, you know, yeah. Right. And that's what will attach to you is what your, your experiences are. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A little bit deeper than, you know, we talk about Caroline, but this is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's great. <laughs> I'll, uh, cede the floor. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, so that's all it took for his do. head. I'm sorry? That's all it took for his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and God damn man. Yeah. <laughs> like if if we can do some more time, I'll absolutely take it, but I this is transformative already. So what would lead us to now is our, our, our heart chakra. Yeah. And now you can let go of that anger. Who are you? <laughs> it's okay. You? Very good. You just thought the big was the dude. No, that's the dude. Yeah. Just just put your hand on his back there, Kevin. By his yeah. heart. There you go. Now, there's nothing wrong with anger, David. Just find a positive uh, outlet for it, however you choose to do it. All right? You might, uh, who knows, scream into a pillow. You might hit a baseball bat on a pillow. Who knows? Whatever, however you choose to express it. Okay? Now, as a practitioner, sometimes they might use you <laughs> as their sounding board. I, I had a nun get nose to nose to me and just start screaming at me. But it wasn't me she was screaming at. She was screaming at her abuser. Yeah. There we go. Can you let just open it up? Yeah. Central channel. It's opening up. Your body's rising. We're feeling much more, literally, much stronger. Just, just don't take it on, Kevin. Caroline, cross yourself up too. Steve, cross yourself up. This stuff is uh, intelligent. It's virulent. Here you go. Oh my God. So, Steve, here's a situation where we made a physical correction that led us into an emotional correction. And he's really processing all of this. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you, David. I, I can tell you, Joe, from sitting behind him that whole time, that the roll of his shoulders and the forwardness of his head and neck changed. Yeah, you can see that just... Right. Or we could have spent, you know, what, six, eight weeks, 12 weeks to learn how to change his posture. Or we could do it in five minutes. Right. Decades. I've been working on it. 
<laughs> decades. That's right, David. Decades. <laughs> and you're able to do it in five or ten minutes. <laughs>